Okay, now let's take a look at how to make multiple strokes on an object. So um, I have this pink sort of rectangle drawn and uh, a green outline to it. We've learned from previous lessons we can take that stroke and we can line it to the inside and to the outside. I'm going to line this one to uh, the inside. And we can crank it up um, quite large if we want and we get a pretty good look right there. Now, if I wanted to add a, an additional outline, I don't have to um, draw a new shape or anything. I'm going to go here to the Appearance panel, and actually we'll be talking about it, so I'm going to tear it off and collapse my graphic styles. Um, and down here at the bottom of the Appearance panel, I have a way to add additional things, like an additional stroke. So when I click on that Stroke button, it gives me a brand new stroke. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't keep it aligned to the inside, but it keeps the other properties. It's still the same color, and it's still nine points. I'm going to align this one to this top stroke to the inside as well. So it's nine points sitting on top of nine points, so uh, one stroke isn't going to show the other one. So let me change the color of this stroke here, this, uh, this bottom one. I'm going to change it to this blue color. So, of course, you don't see that because it's hidden by the nine-point green stroke on top. And if I just keep clicking every time I make that stroke a little bit bigger, you can see it begin to align um, to the inside and, and start to peek out from underneath that green stroke. The same thing can be done with strokes aligned to the center or aligned to the outside as well. I just find I frequently do align to the inside. Now, all of these things here in the appearance panel, that can all be saved. I can actually use that... Uh, save that as a graphic style. So um, I'm going to go to my graphic styles, um, which I can go up here. I did want to show this. We can go up here to graphic styles. I obviously have the icon over here already. But um, I can click on new, and it's going to save that graphic style. And what that means, it's a pink fill. It's a 17-point blue stroke aligned to the inside with a 9-point green stroke sitting on top. So if I want to apply that to other objects, like say this circle that I have right here, I can click on the circle and then click on it in graphic styles and it now looks exactly the same as the square um, or the rectangle that we just drew. Now I've uh, pulled also on a uh, professional logo. I've pulled on the San Diego Chargers um, logo. So let me get my layers and turn the eyeballs on for that. You can see I've drawn the shape here and then I have the original here that I pulled from sportslogos.net down here. So um, I've just drawn one shape. I don't want to draw an individual yellow and then light blue and then dark blue. I just want to do that through um, the uh, styles that we just talked about. So I'm going to go ahead and set this at, at yellow and I do apologize to any Chargers fans for if I don't pick the exact correct color. I could eyedropper. Um, I'm not going to. And I want to set this to be a um, nice dark blue, their darker blue color that they have. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring on that um, appearance panel that we were talking about before. And I'm going to set that stroke to the inside. Again, that's the same stroke panel that I have here and then up here as well. Um, and I'm going to make that a pretty thick one there. And then I'm going to add another stroke okay and it's dark blue again but I'm gonna um, set that to align to the inside okay and now that bottom stroke that I already set the blue on I'm gonna set that to the light blue uh, which is close to that light blue there and I'm going to then crank that in a little bit okay until I'm happy with the way it looks now my original here is faded out for tracing like we use when we're tracing logos in our class but you can see that's pretty close on with only having to draw one single shape. So there's lots of instances where you'd want to have multiple strokes, multiple outlines on an object. Um, it adds quite a bit of interest to a lot of different logos. You can find uh, a great deal of logos using this technique and you can use it in your own logo.